Hey guys, it's Holly here and I'm with Dr. Lane Norton and this is week 17 of my WBFF Worlds Contest Prep Series. First try, nailed it. That's because I'm talking so slow. <laughs> that it just actually time comes to think out. About I had time to think about it because I'm like, the words are forming slowly but normal. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on this week? Wow. Um, this week, if I was to break it into segments, let's, let's look at training. Training's been excellent this past week. Got away, uh, removed myself from... Uh, my normal day-to-day -day stressful life and um, trained in a few different locations and it's been such a nice mix-up um, so that's been really good um, on that same front my dietary adherence uh, while I was away was awesome I think just not having the temptations not having a fridge full of food or cupboard full of food when you're in a hotel you're kind of just limited to what's in your apartment so um, I found that I was really compliant um, to my diet this week. We get to take a look at my numbers this week and you can see how that went. But my motivation and I guess my mind has been a little bit all over the place for a few reasons. Lane, do you care to talk about that? So some of you guys may know who follow us on Instagram. World Championships is in the Bahamas, which means we have to travel outside the country. Yeah. And we have recently been married. Awesome. Yay. Go team. Uh, when, <laughs> when I was uh, going to propose to Holly, uh, I talked to my immigration attorney just to make sure we would do things properly. And I talked about how she had world championships coming up and whatnot. And at the time he said, you know, what you can do is you guys get married, you file for a green card. Now, when you file for a green card, until you get that green card, you cannot leave the country. So people or, make this mistake. Or if I was already outside of the country. Um, like if she leaves. left, she, well, she could leave the country. Yeah, she would not be allowed not back in for about eight months. Yeah. So uh, that wasn't really a, an option for us. Um, so he said, but because she's doing the world championships, what she can do is apply for... Um, Professional athletes uh, travel. Well, it's, it's, it's actually like just basically the... The document itself is just a, uh, an application for travel, essentially, mm -hmm. permit for travel. But it's used for kind of emergency situations. But he said, this is the World Championships. You're a professional athlete. You yeah, know, we have said, all this the proof. The eligibility isn't an issue. It's yeah. just the timing. And so the he said, um, you know, what you do is you go down to the local office here in Tampa. Um, and usually that's issued within a week. And we were married, you know, over five weeks ago, I think. So we applied for it right after we got back. And we got an email from him and he said, I'm afraid things have changed. Um, now you can't... Thanks, you, Trump. <laughs> yeah. Now you can't apply at the local office. Everything has to go through the national office. So we applied through the national office. As of today, um, which is Tuesday, uh, 12 days out from the show, five weeks after we've sent our stuff in, we have not heard anything back. In fact, they have not even... Not even cashed, cashed a check. We don't even have, we don't even have a case number. Um, we've done everything. Our attorney has called up and tried to get any information. They won't give it. Um, and, uh, we have even, uh, reached out to our local congresswoman. Um, they're going to try and help, but it, it, they said, you know, if there's no case number, very unlikely that they're going to be able to do anything. So, uh, we are still hopeful that she's going to be able to go, but at this point, um, we, we don't know and there's a good chance she's not going to be able to go. Mm. And um, you were really upset yesterday. You like to, It's hard enough to go through this stuff to because I've been there. I know what it feels like to feel that bad physically mm. and then mentally as well. But then also to know that you might be doing this for absolutely no fucking reason. So it's just really frustrating. Um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Again, we're, we're still prepping. Like she is going to compete. Yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw I had a little bit of a, not a tantrum. I just had no. a whinge the other day. I was just feeling really defeated. Um, and I think 
you know, social media is great, but a lot of people just put the positive things up and, yeah. you know, I just, sometimes I don't want to be positive. So I just go on there and had a rant about how, you know, difficult it is. Like not only um, has this probably been the most challenging prep that I have done from the sense that I didn't really get a full time or chunk to repair my metabolism after last year's competition, which was November, 2018. I did the WBFF Miami show one that had a ball, knew that I had to compete within 12 months to uphold the professional status for the Federation, the WBFF. Um, and six months was about the time that frame that I had to, you know, do a reverse dive, but it just wasn't enough. Um, I needed a bit more to be yeah. able to really, knowing how lean I have to be to be competitive with the girls in the fitness, um, I probably needed more time to be able to get my calories up a bit higher again so that the bottom end of this prep wasn't going to be as low, but it is really hard. Like my hunger has just been This prep constant. has been, I would say, double as hard as your last year. Yeah, like last year was really challenging. There were different challenges. I think every time you compete, you know, something else. Yeah, but is... I feel like by the end, the last four weeks, I felt like you really got in a rhythm and were in a good place. Like even your mood was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, but I mean, things have changed with our business. You know, there's different responsibilities, yeah. different circumstances. Like, you know, there's always challenges and you can't really avoid them, but you want to try and place your prep in a position where... There's minimal change and minimal things. We've that had are all the change, yeah. And like you know, oh hey, let's just get married, and <laughs> you know, during your prep, that sounds like a really good idea. So, um, yeah, not only has it been really challenging physically, which makes a prep, you know, anyone that's competed, you know what it's like those last few few weeks. Um, it's just made it all that bit much, um, sorry, all that much harder, not knowing whether there's any insurances on the other end. Like I probably won't get on stage but i have to treat it like i am but let me tell you when you're sitting there and all you want to do is just eat something and just you know just throw your hands up in the air i don't really feel like doing this extra 30 minutes on the stair master i just cbf because i'm not sure whether i'm going to be competing it's just it makes it even harder it's like oh, oh it make this, it 10 times harder yeah a glimmer of maybe i'm not doing it so maybe i won't stick to this you know, I sent you a text message earlier today, and I kind of, the last thing I said, I don't know if you saw the last thing I sent you, but it was the scene from uh, Rocky Balboa, mm -hmm. where he's talking about, you know, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit, you know. Keep going. And I was watching David, I was watching, a, right before this, I was watching a video from David Goggins, and I've been really into him lately, and he said, I don't care about winning, I just want to go the distance. Mm -hmm. So I, I think what I said to you yesterday was, I know it's really hard, but do... Do the actions that five years from now, when you look back, you'll, you'll say, I was of. proud about how I handled this, yeah. right? So, and you know what? No matter what, there is a show, a WBFF show in New Jersey mm -hmm. in December. Yeah. So. Well, I would really love to do the, um, Australia the big one. Australian show in October. But we don't even know if you'll get the... There's a UK show as well. Like these are the big shows, which I would love to, to go and be a part of, but... Yeah, I have no idea when I will get this travel visa. And the other implications for that is... And it's hard to plan. We've already spent thousands, over well over $10,000 on this on this show. So Yeah, and we also have our Italy oh, tour. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, support me, too. Um, I've already... Like, we have our Italy tour um, booked. Yeah, I don't we, know if you're going to be able to do that. We have our Australian tour um, for, you know, all of our nutrition seminars and training camps. And... Yeah, like I just have to sit here and go, yep, that's okay. I might not be able to do that, even though I've paid for everything. Like it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> I definitely have my low moments this week. Yeah. But, um, I think you've done pretty well overall. <sighs> I don't feel like it. There was a lot of tears yesterday and a lot of I'm not good enough. Uh, I can't tell you that. Like, what did I say to you last, last night? I was like, I'm not going to be in condition. I feel like I'm failing. Yeah, you I said can't you, even this. if you went, you're not going to be ready. And, yeah, like you have you know. so many moments where you're just second guessing yourself, and you it's know, hard for me to watch. I made the I'm... mistake of like looking at our social media, <laughs> like the competitors. Um, some of them aren't even in my division, but like I'm looking at them, like they're yeah. in the figure, and they're just like gnarly shreddy, and like I mean, I don't know, some of them might be performance enhancing I'm gonna guess maybe they are in the, div the division or the category above me I can't say for sure but they're pretty jacked and you know when you're well, a natty 
and you're trying to tough it out. It's like, oh. I'm just well, I can tell you that when I was, I mean, obviously it's not physique competition, but when I was getting ready for uh, the Arnold and Raw Nationals in 2015, um, I had to stop. I was, you know, following a lot of my competitors because I like them, yeah. you know. But I would watch their training. I'd be like, how am I going to beat these guys? Yeah, I know. Right? That's I can't, exactly I, what like, I can't. Look at the weights they're hitting. And I, and I finally, I'm not worried about the weights. I, well, I know, but I'm just... <laughs> But I, I unfollowed them for a brief period of time just because it's what I needed. And I said, you need to, yeah. you can't control them. All I can do is I can go in and do what I have to do, control the things I have to do. Mm. And then, you know, it's like golf, right? You, it's, not, it's not like football where mm. you can directly impede somebody's, uh, you know, whatever they're doing. So I have to focus on shooting my best round ever. I have to focus on, is even with physique competition, I have to focus on just doing the work I have to do to get me there. Mm-hmm. And I think I've kind of said that to you a few times. Like, all you can do is just do the work, yeah. right? So we can't, you know, maybe maybe you won't win, but, you know, like David Goggins says, go the distance, right? Like, do everything you can mm-hmm. so that when you stand up there, regardless of if it's now in October, yeah. or November, or December, yeah. you could say, I know I did everything I could to be here mm-hmm. right now. A line I used to use a lot is my goal every day is to train and just have the mindset of if somebody beats me, I won't let it be because they worked harder than me. Yeah. There's no excuse for me not to be the hardest worker in the room. And mm. I know you have that same mentality. Mm. And I know no matter what, um, you're a bad motherfucker <laughs> and you will find a way to turn this into a positive no matter what happens. Yeah, I know. Every opportunity is something we can learn from, right? So, yeah. All right, let's have a look Don't at Don't rely mine. on the government to get anything done quickly would be no, rule number one. No, <laughs> just, just forfeit the government altogether, really, if you can. Let's have a look at my numbers. Uh, Please I made pass a- our green card, Mr. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> I uh, made a boo-boo this weekend. Well, I didn't accident. It wasn't an accident. It was more like a snack accident. Snack accident. So let's go in and talk about my snack accident, how I rectified my snack accident, what <laughs> happened with my snack accident. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like you're saying snack accident a lot. <laughs> I feel like I really am saying snack accident. So yeah, let's go check out the data. Information overload. Um, we were just chatting about Vertical Horizon and what an amazing band they are. And we listened to that all weekend. Okay, so here are my god awful targets of 90 and 30. Um, 1250 is my calorie target. Um, still trying to hit somewhere between 20 and 25 fiber just to keep me feeling full. Started off the week at 63.3, um, kind of hovered for a bit, dropped down. Got into the, snuck into the 62s Thursday, Friday, um, back to 63, didn't have a scale on Sunday. So my weekly average actually dropped by 700 grams, which is awesome. You can see last week's weekly average was 63.7. So I've come down again um, to 63. Compliance was really great um, all week. And um, I... I have a really hard time at the moment, as you know, I just mentioned that um, hunger is constant and... The gummy bear apocalypse of 2019. (sighs) Lane um, couldn't travel without his gummy bear. I needed fuel for deadlifting on Saturday. And... I like to compare this to somebody with an addiction problem. So imagine if you had an alcoholic and you sat there recovering and you sat a big bottle of vodka or something, I don't know, whatever alcoholics like, anything, sat it right in the middle of the kitchen and said, oh, you know it's there, but you can't have any of that. And then you walk off. So it's the same thing. So that's not what I did. I did not take the bag and like sit it out in front of her. No, but I, sometimes he does accidentally. It's an accident. He doesn't do nothing. So is ever intentional. I, I will claim it is partly my fault. No, but I because, take responsibility too. Because, oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> because. Um, you, you don't control my eating habits. <laughs> no, no, but, but I take partial responsibility because I know that you, especially right now, you have a hard time just. Like you Living. go into mindless kind of just grabbing mode, and I know what it's like to be that hungry, so I, I do get it. Yeah. Um, I had it in my bag. I didn't think I you were gonna look through my bag. I didn't. It wasn't looking but, through. But but 
I had opened my bag and it was there and you could see it. Okay, so and Lane, so... he, um, we had our suitcases in one room and our bedroom was in the other. And Lane actually didn't. He just left it open, like his suitcase. Right, in the middle, you walk into the room. There's a suitcase open, gummy bears. Anyway, <laughs> I had a, I uh, ate some because I was, it was literally, and it's always in the evening. It was like 9.30 at night. We'd been out for dinner already and I was just like, I am not satisfied and went upstairs to change and it was like the halo effect around the gummy bears and I was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I'm hungry! I was just like, lost it. <laughs> And I just ate a hundred grams of gummy bears. So here it is. There's me owning up to a fucking up. I'm a professional athlete. <laughs> I ate all Lane's gummy bears. Well, not all of them. I left, no. I left some for you. Of course, you left some for me for the next day for gummy Which I appreciate because I had 6.35 for a double. Oh, perfect. Well done. I'm glad I was some, it's totally worth it, right? some kind of <laughs> assistance to you <laughs> in that. So, yeah, my compliance is great until if I, you know, I'm 105% over, 5% over my calories. That's a big big amount that's not compliant you can see here about anything over that i need work <laughs> so my average calories were a little bit too high um that makes a difference so i probably didn't get quite the drop that i needed but thank gosh if we look into this beginning of these um this new week my weight is already trickling back into the low 62s and hopefully we encroach the 61s by approach, approach encroach that's encroach. that diet brain Encroaches Encroach, like, encroaching. like, 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 yeah. I am encroaching, encroaching you. on my personal space. Yeah, yeah, approach uh, 61. I do that a lot. You do so. Um, yeah, I did actually manage to have one drink while we were out on the weekend. We went out for dinner, um, and yeah, I had a, a vodka, I think it was, and I made up my own low calorie yeah. cocktail with soda water, sweetener, fresh lime. Alcohol cycling is back, baby. Yep, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was just like, oh. This is good. So, yeah, um, that was my week. My training has definitely been uh, increased, and I deliberately went out and did more exercise because of that um, whoopsie snack accident. So, you can see here, highlighted in the week, oh, diet week 15, uh, I did 100 minutes on the Stairmaster with my weight vest. I can tell you, I hated every second of it. <sighs> Um, and I did multiple extra bits of activity where possible. So this weekend we went for like a bike ride with mm -hmm. Shelly and Jeff. I did another one earlier in the week. So I'm just kind of being as active as I physically can without not working. <laughs> so this week, um, we need to keep pushing it. I'm going to keep my activity as high as possible again. We've got Lauren and Mark flying in to stay with us over the weekend so no doubt we'll uh, be out on the bikes hopefully florida gives us some nice weather we can get out on the boat maybe get the biscuit out what do you guys call it a donut a rubber oh. ring something fun on the water <laughs> um, like now that you said that i can't even think of the actual name what of it. is it what do you call it a donut. A donut. no 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 like um it's um a tube tube oh, no. yeah tube. something like that a biscuit yeah <laughs> a biscuit, biscuit. Here you go, yellow. So this week I'm keeping my calories. Lane doesn't have a say in this. I've already set it up for myself. I might be setting myself up to failure, but I just need to. This is it. Final big hoorah. I'm going to do five days at the same targets that I've had uh, for the entire week, and they will be You're my training. Two days at Lord. I'm doing uh, this. These will be on my training days, and then uh, the two days that I'm not planning to do weights, um, they will just be like you know cardio, and it'll probably be the day when we're out on the boat. God, you're always so tired in these videos. You should sleep more. <laughs> um great advice <laughs> thanks hi pot i'm kettle you look black so yeah i'm gonna do two days at 75 and that brings my weekly average down to 2033 and with the extra activity i think that's gonna dip me into the low 61s um by probably next monday when i have my final lot of usf testing so for my research study um hopefully i'll be at my well, almost my lowest yeah and leanest all right guys well say a prayer for us or good thoughts or good vibes or or whatever it is um and uh like the video subscribe to her channel my channel if i don't annoy you too much <laughs> and uh please go buy some of our lovely merchandise to help us out with 
more potential plane flights in the future. <laughs> fail, fail flights. And uh, attorney's fees and immigration fees. So, yeah. Uh, well, actually, some of this is very applicable. If you want to know how to diet for a contest, we actually have a book called that. So that yeah. might be a good place to start. The Complete Contest Perfect Compl- Diet. Yes, exactly. Actually. And all my recipes, which are very delicious, I must say. I'm not being too on myself. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Later.